Hey guys, uh, The Beast Within, video three, and uh, today's a big day. I've, uh, if you haven't already seen it on my fan page on uh, Facebook, I just announced that starting March 1st, I will no longer be doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, and uh, that's scary. My beast is like, rawr, right now, because one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching has been one stream of income for me. It was the first way that I started working with people and really delved into this uh, field of, of uh, life coaching. And, you know, it's been two years. I've worked with amazing women. I still keep in touch with almost all of my clients. And um, it's just a huge shift for me. And like with anything, when there is any sort of transition or change, change is inevitable, it can be scary. You can, I can, I can say for me that I'm, you know, already thinking about what's next, what am I going to do, you know, there's all these, these kind of things that flare up for me, and that's just a function of my beast, right? My beast worries what's going to happen next, and so what I did just now to kind of um, shut down that beast of mine is, you know, it's snowing here in Kansas as I've been stating in all my beast videos because I've been snowed in. So I just I took my dog out. We played in the snow. I actually purposely fell back into the snow and I felt like a kid again. And I realized that it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And um, it's just a matter of trust. Trusting that the decision I made to release one-on-one -on -one coaching so I could enter, so so new projects can enter in. Trusting that that was the right decision. And you know what? It's it's uh, it is a scary feeling. It's definitely like what's going to happen, you know. Um, where do I go from here? But here's what I do know: is that as scary as it may seem, and it's very exciting. So I don't want to, I don't want to not mention that part. That I'm very excited about it because I've been wanting to do this uh, for quite some time, and um, I finally decided to do it. I wanted to kind of complete a lot of the work that I was doing with other people and. Um, with any change in your life. So it's not going to be comfortable, right? Growth is not comfortable. Um, if it was comfortable, we'd all be exactly where we want to be. But it takes, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes commitment, and it takes the action to do it. It takes, the, in spite of it, to do it anyway. Um, interesting today how my beast flared up is, in spite of the, I mean, in, in addition to the fear of letting go of this one-on-one -on -one coaching and now doing the things that I've been wanting to do, and I've, and I've been doing it, you know, trying to incorporate it is, you know, today, like I said, I've been snowed in. I've been using these past few days to really reflect, to really not do much of anything, you know. I've been loving engaging with all of you via social media, and that's been awesome. I've been writing. I've been reading. I've been cooking. It's been great. And uh, my beast today finally said to me, oh, my God, Vasavi, you're not doing anything. How unproductive. And uh, I didn't, I noticed it. I noticed that it flared up today, that it's like, oh, you're not, you're not doing, you're not constantly doing, why are you just being, you know, so it's like this, mm, it's like, it's like this addicted to this, it, it's, it's like, has this compulsion to constantly be doing, but I got to tell you, I heard it, and I said, okay, that's cool, you know, obviously, Mr. Beast, Mrs. Beast, you're going to show up when I'm not doing, 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 and producing results, results, result, results like I normally do. Um, and uh, it's just the way it is. So you just got to notice, you got to notice it. There's really nothing to do. I'm, the, the number one question that I'm often asked is, how do I get rid of my fear? How do I get rid of my ego? And the first thing that I say is, observe the fact that you have it. Notice the fact that you have an ego. Notice the fact that you have these conversations. Because once you have the awareness, then you can actually choose what thoughts you want to think. Where do you want to come from? Love or fear? Guilt, shame, blame, or loving yourself, being kind to yourself. I also want to share that uh, I do have a little mini announcement. I'm excited about it. In addition to everything that I've already shared, you know, as many of you know, Catapult, my four-hour live virtual workshop is happening March 9th on Saturday from 11 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it would be four hours, you and me and nine other people just like this, where, you know, there's some pre-work that I give you to really get deep and clear on what is it that you want, why you want it, what are you going to do to get it. And so I think this is where I find people get stuck is that what, do, what did they even want in the first place, right? What is it 
that you're even going to be taking action on? Is it anything that's even going to be fulfilling you? Is it really what you want at the core and at the soul of who you are? So, um, once again, if you guys have seen me promoting it, it's $175. And really what I want to do for people that are really interested to start taking action so that they can catapult, I'm going to knock off $75. Okay, and I'm going to make it a flat $100. So you get four hours with me virtually, and then you get three follow-up um, group coaching calls with me the following um, three Tuesdays. Now, I want to make something very clear. Okay, I stopped doing one-on-one -on -one coaching so I could create more programs that were affordable to people. Like I said, I've been really blessed to have access to the, the best of the best training, both personally and professionally. I feel like, and I'm, I'm a little bit of an anomaly here, that I, I, it's my responsibility to pay it forward. And I want everyone on this planet to have access to programs, to courses that will allow you to look inwards. Um, I have a quote posted on the back of my door. I'll just show you. You can kind of take a tour in my apartment. And it says right here, it's the first thing that I, I leave, the only journey is a journey within. And I mean that. And it's the reason why I'm here is because I've done so much looking inwards and constantly every damn day. I want to pay that forward. So once again, if you're interested in Catapult, we have a few spots left. It's a maximum of 10 people. You know, if you're, if you're interested, it was 175. It's now 100. I'm doing that. I want you to get it really clear. For me, whatever it is that's stopping you from investing in yourself, I want to make it as easy as possible. I'm not trying to spoon feed you. I'm not trying to let you off the hook or not be responsible. My thing is I need you to get in. Get in, say yes, whatever it is that's stopping you, because I know that you want to. I know that you want to. I know that you want to say yes to yourself. Something holds you back, so I'm going to make it as easy as possible. And my intention is once you get in to the workshop, once you start to do the work, once you start to see that there are other people just like you on this path, once you start to see yourself the way I see you, that's when you start to catapult. And it's about taking action. Remember, action is the antidote to despair. So if you're stuck and you're suffering and you're wondering why, it's because you're not taking action. Or maybe you just need to re get like reprogram and get clear on what it is that you really want. So that's my offer. Um, loving the this new place that I'm in I, I'm happy that I got to share it with you and if you have any questions uh, you can always email me at Vasavi at VasaviKumar.com the sign up link for Catapult is Catapult with Vasavi.Eventbrite.com and I'll also post it right on this video so uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay warm or stay cool <laughs>